Get your core ready. Ready for what? Not the beach, but for everyday activities and for your own life. So, what do you need? You need some water, you need a bit of space, you need comfy clothes, and you need to bring some enthusiasms. Let's go. Let's start with uh, creating some space to be efficient on your core workout. So, as you breathe in, move your arms up. Long arms, try to reach the ceiling. And as you exhale, just relax your arms and bend slightly your knees. And again, inhale up and exhale. Just by doing that, you make your focus on your body and nothing else. Now let's warm the spine. Open, open the chest, push slightly your chest and your tummy forwards and then bring your hands forwards. So push your back behind and open and two more times. Now let's create some space on the side. Up here, you want to reach again the ceiling with just one hand and that without collapsing on the side. And then on the other side, up. Soft on your knees, don't want straight legs. Up. And relax there. And now your hips. So you push your hips to the sides, you want to stretch a bit the glutes here, push and push, push. Always making space here from the bottom of the core. And some circles, three, bending your knees and change the way. Three, two, one. Now the joints are a bit more loosening up. Up, up. Let's go into the sets uh, of today. So three exercises, really focusing on the core and we separate the top from the bottom. Obviously always and one exercise at the end to bring that all together. So two, focus on the waist. We spread first the wings to the side and we will slide. You need to bend your knees, you need to make your hips uh, steel, so bring a bit pelvic floor into it. No glutes, just pelvic floor and tummy in. And from here we slide. You slide, you want to reach, here I want to reach my iPad and then I want to reach the other side. Ah, feel, you feel your feet grounding into the floor. Your knees are not moving. Bring your tummy in and you slide side to side. 10, 6, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now we go to the knees. Still knees are light and soft and you want to slide and come back to the other side. The hips are still steel, okay? Maybe you need a mirror for this one if you don't feel it, or you can just put one hand on this side, make sure it doesn't move, okay? You do one side at a time. But otherwise, you reach but you stay long. You keep the space you've created with the warm-up. And 10. Eight, six, five, oops, oops, <laughs> and come down. And the same thing up here. A bit like we've done for the warm up. You want to go up here and push there. You're still on the side. Up. So keep breathing. And 10, 8, 6, pelvic floor still in, 2 and 1, 
and down. Okay, now we stimulate a bit everywhere on the waist, around the waist, and now we go for the hips. So you want to push your hips up. You bring your abs together, okay? The tummy button is bringing everything together and you push, you want to slide. Same thing that before, this time you don't want to move the top, you just want to move the hips. And to move the hips it's better to bend up slightly your knees. Choop. Baby is liking that. Pushing. And ten, eight, six, four, two, and one. Good. And other circles. Circles always bringing a bit more coordination from the bottom and the top of the of your abs. So chest here. You keep small. Ten on each way. You can have your hands. Because the core, yes, we want it stronger, it's your inner strength, it's where you, you pull out any resources you have, okay? It's where you feel stable. Up, turn in the other way. But it doesn't need to be smashed, okay? We don't want to smash and flex. We want it to be open and ready to serve when we need. Tuck. And now last exercise, just to apply what you've just uh, made possible. You bring your tummy together, you bring the pelvic floor in, you spread your wings to the side, up, and we do the starfish. So, up and to one side, and then you come back. And that is coordination. Your coordination needs the stability of your core, the power of your core. Zoo. So the movement is not from the leg or from the arms. Up. The range of the movement is decided also by the core. five and we want to do ten and the thing is you don't want to um, be broken or break the lines on this one you want to make sure from the head to the heel you have or in between the legs in this case you have one line Oopsie. Up. feel tall relax your shoulders Pull your arms out of your shoulders. Zoo. And push the foot on the floor into the floor. Two more. And down. And relax. And that is the first set. Now, I encourage you to do two more sets of this one to really focus on the core itself. And if possible, try to do at least one exercise, eyes closed, okay? Just to make sure the brain is on board and make sure he understands what he's doing. We want to teach the brain how to use the core in a better way and more efficient. We watch this video if you need. Please comment, ask any questions you need like it still useful and subscribe there is other videos to watch for me so, until next time